What is good guys, welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, and we're back once again with another Predator 3500 inverter. This inverter has a very similar issue than the last Predator I worked on my previous video, but there's a twist with this one. So keep on watching until the end to learn what really happened to this inverter. All right, so a little bit of background on this inverter. The owner brought it in and stated that another mechanic swapped the ignition module and the ignition coil and the generator still did not start. So this ignition module and the ignition coil that you see here are the parts that got replaced. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the spark tester and see if we got any spark. The generator is missing the battery, but we got the jump pack ready. Let's try it. Yep, no spark. One eternity later. So I just took apart the inverter just to get access to the ignition coil. Before I did this, I tested a new ignition module and there was still no spark. So that next step is to get into the ignition coil. You can check out my other video on how to repair a Predator 3500 inverter with a bad ignition module. And now by doing a quick visual inspection, I can tell that the ignition coil was not capped properly. Looked like some plastic got sheared off by the magnet. Now look at this. This is the reason of why the generator is not creating spark. We have just plastic covering the ignition coil. So there's no way that you can sense the magnet going through so it can pulse and set the signal to the spark to throw spark out. So I went ahead and cleaned out the rotating magnet. Look how clean that looks now. So we're good there. I move on and cleaned out the plastic out of the ignition coil. And now it's time just to gap it properly. All you need is a business card. You got chain plug, tactical power generation services at your service. Put that business card in between the magneto and your ignition coil and you should be good. So now every time the magnet goes through the ignition coil, we should be seeing spark at the spark plug. So let's put everything back together and give it a start and see if we get this generator running. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's see if the generator starts. Let's go. generator is running nice and smooth now let's put some load and see how it reacts on the load all looking good here okay so let me walk you through what really happened to this generator so this predator 3500 inverter it looked like originally it had one issue which was a bad ignition module but the previous person that worked on it replaced the ignition coil which was not the issue but once he installed a new ignition coil he did not install it properly he did not give him the right gap letting the magneto cutting through the plastic blocking the ignition coil to sense the magnet so when he tried to start the generator it still did not have spark because now it has two problems instead of one it has a wrongly installed ignition coil and a bad ignition module he proceeded then to replace the ignition module all right give it a start again it still won't start because he was thinking all right it has a brand new ignition coil has a brand new ignition module why it still won't start but he stopped right there he said he can't figure it out and they send it my way if there's anything that I would like you guys to get out of my video is first troubleshoot properly and second when you install a part make sure you install it the right way that's it y'all thank you for watching the video 
Don't forget to overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember that knowledge is current times voltage.